running. No more hiding. Let's finish this. Hello and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because it super helps me out and it also lets me know that you like what I'm doing. All of Quick announcement, we are on our way to 800 subscribers. Once we get there, I'm gonna be doing a super awesome live art stream where I'm gonna be drawing your Final Fantasy XIV characters, your OCs, uh, stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet and we are so close. I think we are like less than 50 away. So that's exciting. In case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Veladina is bloody massive. It would take a dozen men to change it, and for far too long besides. But there's no need for all that. Right, Renato? Not so long as I have my griffin and a satchel of glamour prisms, no. Oh, be still, my glam heart. Heron Vald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No link pearls. Lise, I want you to look in on the squadrons. Make sure they've got everything they need. Everybody clear. Aye, sir. All forces are to depart for Castellum Corvi when ready. That will be all. Burr, stay with me a moment, if you would. There's a few men I'd like you to look in on personally. Each of them has lost people, and I can tell that it weighs on their hearts. There have been a lot of new faces since last you were here, so it's best if I tell you where to look. One's an officer you'll find in the barber, another's an older fellow who likes to pass the time on the shore of Starfall. The last is a fiery young lad from Little Alamigo, who I'm told trains by himself by the river to the fringes. You'll know them when you see them. Come and find me when you've finished. Okay, so we gotta go make everybody feel good? I say, if it isn't the last who helped me find the ward I misplaced. Oh, is that you? Ah, but there I go again treating you as an equal. It wasn't until after you'd gone that one of my comrades pulled me aside and told me it was only the bleeding hero of Eorzea who'd taken, me, taken time out of her busy day to help me. Well, what is done is done, but I know that I will fight with every ounce of my strength in this coming battle, and the next and the next. Mayhap that will serve to repay the favor. Fare you well. Wait, I know you. I like your mustache. Sergeant Lin of the Twin Adder, it is an honor to meet you. I was living hand to mouth in Uldah, but decided to enlist in the flames after I heard tales of your daring do. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join in the fight for my homeland's liberation. Ah, but this is no time to talk. I've got to prepare for the operation. Take care, Sergeant. We'll give those Imperial whore sons what for. Burr, am I right? I doubt you remember me, but I'll never forget you. Saved my life in Little Alamigo, and you did. Wilred and the rest of us had got it into our heads that if we had enough crystals, we could summon Raugr like the Amalgia summoned their god. Thankfully, you put a stop to it. Ever hear about what happened to Wilred? Joined the Braves when they came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Poor Wilred. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dead's dead, after all. But at least he died doing what he thought was right. It may be that the f that's the best folks like us can hope for, eh? Not that I'm in any hurry, mind. Alright, Conrad, can I, like, go do, like, the things I'm supposed to do now? Like, be a warrior and such? In like, you know, people are always like, you know, like... You've had a word with the men I mentioned, then. As I'm sure you've noticed, they've d another thing in common aside from tragedy. You've touched each of their lives in one way or another. But that's not the reason I wanted you to speak with them. Oh, really? A man who's lived in Garabanya his entire life, who bore witness to the realities of the occupation for twenty unbroken years. A man who fled Alamigo in search of a new life, who swore to serve another nation, only for fate to conspire to send him back here. A youth born on foreign soil, who never knew his parents' homeland, yet nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons, yet all belonged to the resistance. And growing larger, we've grown more diverse, and while there is good in that, there's also the potential for strife and discord. It'd take a special sort to lead such men to Alamigo, don't you think? I see we're of one mind. She'll have to make the decision for herself, of course. You've traveled with her, been by her side when she's had to make hard choices. 
You've seen her at her worst and her best. If you think she's got it in her, then she does. Look after her, Burr. She's our future and my hope. I trust I didn't say that this conversation is just between you and me. Good girl. Right, then we must head to Castellum Corvi, or what remains of it, rather. We'll lead the way while the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember that we need to hold out until Minago sees the flag. Got your gear in order? Any moment now. It's begun then. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Calm down, Nargo. You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Looks like the Busters went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monago, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. I won't let you down, sir. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day. Oh, no. Think you're clever with all your little tricks? Think again. None of you are leaving here alive. Dago, we made it. We've only got to hold on a little longer. Well, that wasn't so hard. This bitch. God damn you. No more running. No more hiding. Let's finish this. She did it. She's ours! Al amigo! Al amigo! Al am yeah! <laughs> Stand your ground! It's not over yet! Damn it! Let them go, Lise. We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now.
<laughs> He's just just said here yeah! by himself. <laughs> He'll take a while on. Philodena has fallen? Impossible! We have them on the run! Forward! No mercy! Get over. Regroup! Regroup! <laughs> we have to regroup! All units! Fall back! Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. We'll be at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements if we don't fall back now. Idiot! We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No, but if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order or we'll all die here. As common traitors who drank of muddied waters, for all the good it did us. Schools with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. I suppose. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. <laughs> Everything is going wrong swimmingly. It's a shame poor Dola got away, but we did what we came here to do. I have to remind myself it's just the first step, but it's a big one. We're going to take it back. All of it. One ill at a time if we have to. There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the Castellum. We'll need to search it top to bottom be to be sure it's safe. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. There's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run en route. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. When you judged your work to be done, report to General Alden in Bitterbill. Will that all's well at the bridge? Good, good. The fighting has died down here too, as you can see. Pippin left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Valadina. If and when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their own walls. I could not have hoped for a better outcome, General. Splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It'll take more than one Castellum to turn the tide. My men and I will deal with the remaining enemy forces. Scions, I bid you return to Commander Kemp and his men. Delight not over much in victory, not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is finished. Our resistance, allies are waiting. Back so soon? I suppose the general and his men had matters well in hand. The vice marshal and his men showed up not long after you left. If the gods are good, there will be no one left to fight. I know you're not one for waiting, but if you'll bear with us. Commander Kemp, Marshal Towerpin reports that their sweep of the Castellum's interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? Pray extend to him my deepest thanks. It's official then. Castellum Veladina is well and truly ours. Mayhap this calls for... Wait, where's Minerago? 
She took her bird and flew off towards the Peering Stones, the village of the M tribe where she was born. I doubt that the Imperials who fled Valentina had a mind to give them trouble on their way back east, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see that her people were safe. Though I pray you are right, it would be best if Minago were not alone if she should encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Peering Stones and make sure that everything is all right. If that is your wish, then I have no objection. Just let the guard know when you wish to cross. The path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me! Ah, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. How fare your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta, at any rate. They've sent an emissary. I'll take you to her. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. Just so. The Kaliana forsook their pride in the fight and yielded to Garlemald long ago. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. For Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I see. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana Broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child. Until you came. The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Fordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come, for in her despair the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. 
she summoned a primal then and there? Oh, sir. That she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the Goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us? Aye. All who have fought with the Resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the Icon Slayer. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. It just gets worse and worse! Ahem. At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I have been rather too willing to accept that we have no other recourse than to risk our lives, or rather, your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Ramu would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Ere we decide to challenge Sri Lakshmi, it would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her unto this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north will you find our village. Sir she Sarisha shall unfold all. We shall leave at once. Benago, can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what happened? Of course. Be safe, my friends. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.